This is example two from solving linear systems using the substitution method. And the theme in the substitution method is to solve one of the equations for one variable and plug it into the other. Well, here we can see that the second equation, the one on the bottom of the system, is already solved for y. This means that anywhere we see y in the other equation, we can replace it with x minus 4. And this gives us our new equation. So it's 2x plus, and anywhere I see y, I'm going to replace it with x minus 4 from the second equation, equals 5. Now we can combine like terms. 2x and x gives us 3x minus 4 equals 5. We're going to solve for x by isolating it. And we see that x is equal to 3. Now that we have x is equal to 3, we go back to our system. 2x plus y equals 5 and y equals x minus 4. And we want to plug 3 in anywhere we see x. And when we do this, we expect both of the equations to produce the same value for y. If both give us the same y value, then our work is correct. We solve for the correct ordered pair, and we're done. If we get two different y values, then our x is wrong. So the top equation becomes 2 times 3 plus y equals 5. That is 6 plus y equals 5. Subtract 6 from both sides, and we get y equals negative 1. The bottom equation becomes y equals 3 minus 4, so y is equal to negative 1. Since they match, we know that we've done this correctly. And we can say that our solution to the system is the ordered pair 3, negative 1.